we are going to discuss about the respiratory pigments respiratory pigments which is found in different organisms so the respiratory pigments are the particular type of substances and the substances which can combine with oxygen at high pressure of gas and release it where the oxygen tension is lower that is in tissue so these are the substances respiratory substances which can combine with the oxygen in the lungs in the lungs alveoli where there the pressure of the gas is higher or pressure of the oxygen is higher and release it where the oxygen tension is lower in the tissues they are present either in blood or in body fluid they are present either in blood or in the body fluid it contains some metal as an organic complex due to which these substances are colored and due to which which we are called that is respiratory pigments this respiratory substances having particular type of metal substance due to which they get the color so called as respiratory pigments some important respiratory pigments are like hemoglobin hemocyanin chlorocurine and hemerythrin these are some well known respiratory pigments or respiratory substances so let us see the first respiratory pigment which is called as hemoglobin this hemoglobin is the commonest and best known respiratory pigment hemoglobin is the commonest and best known respiratory pigment it is a complex in form and made by two components one component is called as globin which is a protein component and second component of the hemoglobin which is called as heme that is a prosthetic or active group of iron that is hemoglobin is made by the two component one protein component which is called as globin and the second component second part of the hemoglobin or the component of the hemoglobin which is called as heme that is uh, the made by the prosthetic or active group of iron the molecules of hemoglobin which is found in the invertebrates so the invertebrate hemoglobin is larger than the vertebrate hemoglobin invertebrate hemoglobin is larger than the vertebrate hemoglobin in lungs combines with oxygen at normal temperature and pressure and forms a combination that is called as hbo2 which is called as oxyhemoglobin condition that is in the lungs hemoglobin combined with the o2 and forming a combination that is called as oxyhemoglobin oxyhemoglobin formation takes place in the lungs which is called as hbo2 but at tissue level these components are dissociate from each other that is oxygen and hemoglobin are again separate out and hemoglobin and o2 are separate out and o2 then release into the tissues so at tissue level the combination of hbo2 or hemoglobin can be dissociate from each other it is present in all vertebrates this hemoglobin is present in all vertebrates also in few holothurians in some crustaceans insects many annelids and some gastropods so in these organisms in vertebrates all vertebrates holothurians some crustaceans insects in many annelids and gastropods hemoglobin is present it is the iron containing oxygen transports metal or protein in the red blood cells which is particularly found in the red blood cells erythrocytes of almost all vertebrates as well as the tissues of some invertebrates this hemoglobin also found in the tissues of some invertebrates it is also occurs in dissolved condition in the plasma of vertebrates some of the hemoglobin also found in the in the condition in the plasma of vertebrates a healthy individual has 12 to 20 grams of hemoglobin the healthy uh, persons having 
एच बी अबाउट ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स इन एवरी हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ ब्लड दिस इज अबाउट द हिमोग्लोबिन नाउ अबाउट द सेकेंड रेस्पैटिफिक मेन्ट वी हाव टू स्टडी अबाउट द हेमोसाइनिन इट इज अ प्रोटीन विच ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑक्सीजन इन द बॉडीज ऑफ सम इनवर्टिबेट्स से हेमोसाइनिन इज पर्टिकुलर फाउंड इन सम इनवर्टिबेट्स देर एक्टिव सेंटर्स हैव टू कॉपर एटम्स देर एक्टिव सेंटर हैव टू कॉपर एटम्स विच रिवर्सिबली बाइंड अ सिंगल ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल विच इज रिवर्सिबली बाइंड सिंगल मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ओ टू कैरिड बाय टू प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप इन इट हेमोसाइनिन आर फाउंड इन सिफेलाफोर्स दैट इज इन मोलस्कस एंड इन स्कॉर्पियन किंग कैब्रा लाइक आर्थोफोर्स सो इट इज फाउंड इन सम मोलस्कस लाइक सिफेलाफोर्स एंड सम आर्थोफोर्स लाइक स्कॉर्पियन एंड किंग क्रैब लाइक ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑल्सो इट इज फाउंड इन लार ऑफ फ्यू इंसेप्ट इन लार्वी ऑफ द फ्यू इंसेप्ट दिस हेमोसाइन इज प्रेजेंट इट ऑकर्स इन टू फॉर्म्स oxidized form and reduced form the copper atoms of hemocyanin are found as prostatic group which coordinated by histidine residue the active site of hemocyanin hemocyanin is composed of pair of copper cations which are directly coordinated to the protein it has been noted that species using hemocyanin for oxygen transportation Includes crustaceans living particularly in cold environment. The organisms which is particularly living in the cold environment can use the hemocyanin as the respiratory pigment because low oxygen due to low oxygen pressure. Under these circumstances, hemoglobin oxygen transportation is less efficient than hemocyanin oxygen transportation. So there are also Terrestrial arthropods, terrestrial arthropods are also using hemocyanin, like spiders or scorpions also use the hemocyanin as a respiratory pigment. They can live in the warm climates. The molecules is conformationally stable and fully functioning at at about ninety degree Celsius temperature. So this can act you about ninety degree Celsius temperature. so this information was about hemocyanin now the third respiratory pigment which is called as chlorocurin it is a green respiratory pigment chlorocurin is a green respiratory pigment sometimes known as giant hemoglobin sometimes known as giant hemoglobin with erythrocurin is an oxygen binding hem protein present in the blood plasma of four families of annelids particularly certain marine polychaetes these are particularly found in the certain marine polychaete and some families of the annelids its affinity for oxygen is weaker its affinity for oxygen is weaker than most of hemoglobin it is also exists in oxidized and reduced form when combined with oxygen for become oxidized and when the oxygen is re released that become reduced form the o2 carrying capacity is estimated to about 9 ml of O2 per 100 cc of blood. This is a estimated uh, O2 carrying capacity of the chlorocurin. Now the third, or uh, sorry, fourth respiratory pigment, hemi erythrin. It is one of the respiratory pigment. It is non-hem iron protein. Non-hem iron protein used by two phyla of marine invertebrates, that is, spinuculates and bacteropods type of invertebrates having. Such a type of respiratory pigment, which is called as hemerythrin, for oxygen transport or storage. It differs from the other oxygen-binding protein like hemoglobin, hemocyanin, in the polypeptide chain and in the metal complex used to reversibly bind oxygen. So there is a different polypeptide chain and metal complex used to reversibly bind with oxygen, right? Then the ox. Uh, other respiratory pigments the two iron atoms in hemerythrin are bound the imidazole ring of five histidine residues and the carboxylates of an aspartic acid and glutamic acid in addition the complex contains an oxygen atom 
bridging between the two iron atoms. Most chemoreceptors do not bind oxygen cooperatively. Do not bind oxygen cooperatively. They show tight oxygen binding, but the subunits in the oligomeric forms generally act as an individual binding site. In some bryophores, though, hemerythrin shows cooperatively between the subunits. So here, in some cases, they can tightly binding with oxygen, but in some bryophores, hemerythrin shows cooperatively between the subunits. Recent evidence has revealed that. Hemerythrin to be multifunctional protein, contributing to initiate innate immunity, contributing or take part in the innate immunity and anterior tissue regeneration in worms. So these hemerythrin also take part in the contribution uh, to innate immunity and anterior tissue regeneration in worms. So lastly, which are the functions of the respiratory pigments? So first of all, we know that due to the presence of respiratory pigment. In the blood, they can carry more oxygen. Due to the presence of respiratory pigment, they can carry the blood can carry more oxygen. When the respiratory pigment is absent, oxygen carrying capacity or oxygen could be carried in solution, and the amount carried will be low. Oxygen carrying capacity will be low when the respiratory pigments are absent. Respiratory pigments have ability to combine with oxygen at high pressure of gas and there is having one of the important function in the respiratory pigment that is the reverse reversibility. They can reversibly combine with the gases <coughs> like uh, oxygen. So here we can found the irreversible uh, reactions. That is hemoglobin combined with oxygen reversibly, and whenever <coughs> whenever they go to the tissues, they again dissociate from each other. So these are some functions of the respiratory pigments. Is all about the respiratory pigments. So, if you like this video, then share with your friends. Thank you.